Hello everyone. In this video, we learn how to find the product of the prime numbers. Like suppose we have a number that is forty nine thousand eight hundred ninety six. So we'll have to find the factors. Then we'll have to multiply it. That means we'll have to find the factors. Then we need to multiply. But the factors should be in prime numbers. Like four nine eight nine six if we start factorizing this number so since the unit digit is six here so we'll have to start dividing by two if the unit digit is six we can easily say that this number will be divisible by two so if we try by two here in four we'll get two times then next digit is nine so since nine is also divisible so if we divide nine with two we'll get four times so two four sir 8 so 9 minus 8 it is 1 then 1 and 18 1 and 8 becomes 18 then if we divide 18 with 2 we'll get 9 times then again 9 comes so if we divide 2 with 9 we'll get 4 times so 9 minus 8 is 1 so 1 6 16 now we'll get 8 times then again the unit digit is 8 so we can divide it by 2 again so if we again divide by 2, 1 time here on 2, on 4, 2 times on 9, 4 times 2 4 are 8. So 9 minus 8 is 1. So 1 for 14. So 2 7 are 14. Then on 8, 4 times. Again the unit digit is 4. So we can divide by 2. So if we divide by 2, so here since first digit is not divisible, so we will have to take 2 digits. So if we take two digit, it is twelve. So two six are twelve. Then two two sir four. Then on seven two three sir six. Then seven minus six is one. One for fourteen seven times. Now since the unit digit is seven, now it is not divisible by two. Then if we talk about the next prime number, like the first prime number starts from two, so we have already done by two. Then this number is not divisible by 2 so we'll have to try by the next prime number that is 3 so if we start by 3 we have to first check whether this number is divisible or not so how will you check so first what we'll do we'll add all the digits like 6 here 6 and 2 is 8 8 and 3 is 11 11 and 7 is 18 so is this 18 is divisible by 2 or not so uh, 3 or not so we'll check if this 18 is divisible by 3 then this 6237 also will be divisible by 3. So we know that 18 is divisible by 3. That means this number is also divisible by 3. So the first digit is 6. So if we divide by 3, we will get 2 times here. Now since after dividing 3 with 6, we have got 2 times. Now no number left from 6. Then here we have got 2 and this 2 is smaller than 3 by 3 this 2 is not divisible so what we'll have to do since this 2 is not divisible so we'll have to put a 0 here then 2 and 3 becomes 23 so 3 7 are 21 so 23 minus 21 is 2 then 2 7 27 so on 27 we'll get nine times now since again the unit digit is odd number so it is not divisible by two so we'll have to check by three whether it is divisible or not so two and seven is nine nine and nine is eighteen so eighteen is divisible by three so this number is also divisible by three so if we again divide by three since 20 is there in the first two digit so three six are 18 then 20 minus 18 is 2 2 7 27 so on 27 by 3 we'll get 9 times then 9 here we'll get 3 times then again the unit digit is 3 so 9 and 6 is 15 and 3 18 so again it is divisible by 3 so if we divide by 3 here 2 times on 9 3 times here 1 times then again if we add 3 and 2 is 5 and 1 is 6 that means it is divisible by 3 again so if we divide 3 7 are 21 then 23 minus 21 is 2 2 1 21 again 7 times 
now it is not divisible by 3 because 7 and 7 becomes 14 and 14 is not divisible by 3 then we will try by what 5 so this number is not divisible by 5 also then we will try by 7 because 7 is also prime number so if we try by 7 we know that 7 will get 11 times here so here as a product of prime factors we are getting 1 2 3 3 number of 2 so 4 9 8 9 6 here we are getting 3 number of 2 then 1 2 3 4 4 number of 3 1 2 3 4 then into 7 then into 11 that means 3 number of 2 so we can write 2 cube then 4 number of 3 so we can write 3 of power 4 then 7 into 11 so this is the product of the prime factors so in the same way we have another number that is 8 7 4 9 4 4 so we will try this number also so we will check whether we can find the prime factors of these numbers. So, we will start by, since the unit digit is 4, so we will start by 2. So, if we start by 2, here we get 4 times. Then on 7, we get 3 times. 2, 3, sir, 6. So, 7 minus 6 is 1. So, here there is 1. 1 and 4 is 14. So, if we divide 14 with 2, will get 7 times then 9 comes so on 9 we get 4 times then 9 minus 8 is 1 1 for 14 so we are getting 7 times with 2 then remain 4 2 times then again we will try by since the unit is 2 so we will try by 2 so here we are getting 2 times then on 3, 1 times. So 3 minus 2 is 1, 1, 7, 17. So 2, 8s are 16. So 17 minus 16 is 1, 1 for 14. So 2, 7s are 14. Then on 7, 3 times. Then remain 7 minus 6 is 1, 1 to 12. So 2, 6 are 12. So unit digit is 6 here. So again we will try by 2. So if we try by 2, on 2, 1 time. Since 1 is not divisible, so a 0 will come. Then 1, 8, 18, 2, 9, sir, 18. Then 2, 3, sir, 6. So 7 minus 6 is 1, 1, 3, 13, 2, 6, sir, 12. So 13 minus 12 is 1, 1 and 6 is 16, so 2, 8, sir, 16. Now, since the unit digit is 8, again we can divide it by 2. So 2, 5 times here, then 4 times here, 1, 3, 13, 6 times, so 1, 6, 16, 8 times, so 1, 8, 8, now nothing left because 16 we have divided by 2 and we got 8 times, then here 4. Then we will divide again by 2, 2 to sub 4, 1 for 14, 2 7 sub 14, 2, 3, sir, 6, 2, 4, sir, 8, 2, 2, sir, 4. Then the unit digit is again 2. Again, we will divide by 2. By 2, 1 time. Then on 7, 3 time. Then 1, 3, 13, 6 time. Then 1, 4, 14, 7 time. Then 1. Now, since the unit digit is 1, so it is not divisible by 2 anymore. Then again the next prime comes that is 3. So we will check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. So 3 and 1 is 4 and 6, 10, 17 and 1, 18. So 18 is divisible by 3. So we will have to try by 3. 3, 4 are 12. So 13 minus 12 is 1. 1, 6, 16. 3, 5 are 15. So 1 remain. 1, 7, 17. 3, 5 are 15. Then remain 2, 2, 1, 21. 3, 7 are 21. Then we will have to see whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. So 5 and 5 is 10, 14, 
14 and 7 is 21 that means 21 is divisible by 3 so again we divide by 3 so 4 1 time 1 remain 4 minus 3 is 1 1 by 15 so 3 fives are 15 then 5 3 ones are 3 remain 2 2 7 27 3 nines are 27 then we we'll check whether again it is divisible by 3 or not so if we try by 3 5 and 1 is 6 6 and 1 is 7 7 and 9 is 16 so 16 is not divisible by 3 so that means 1519 is also not divisible by 3 then we'll try by 5 since the unit digit is 9 so this number is not divisible by 5 also if the unit digit is 0 or 5 then only the number is divisible by 5 so this is not divisible by 5 then we'll try by 7 since 7 is also prime number so if we try by 7 so let's see 7 to sir 14 it mean 1 1 1 11 so 7 1 sir 7 so 11 minus 7 is 4 4 9 49 so 49 is divisible by 7 and we get 7 times then again we will try by 7 since 21 is there and 7 here so 7 7 3 sir 21 then 1 here now if we see this 31 is also a prime number that means this 31 is not divisible anymore so from this number what we have get we, we have to check that is 8 7 4 9 4 4 from here we have got 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 number of 2 so we can write 2 power 6 then 1 2 2 number of 3 that means 3 square 1 2 then 2 number of 7 into then 31 that is 31 so these are the factors of 8 7 4 9 4 4 so in any question suppose we need to find product of prime numbers so we can use this method and we can find the prime numbers so thank you for watching